Hello, um, so with this video, we are gonna build the blood vessels on the mannequin. Here's what you need. You need your mannequin assembled and upright and ready to go. You're gonna need the PowerPoint that's linked from Schoology that uh, has the directions for this. You're gonna need um, maybe three spaghetti um, of each color, red and blue, and a little chunk of red. Um, I don't know, maybe about the size of a small kiwi. I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, and then a wire tool as well. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build the heart. And to do that, you're going to take this little chunk of clay and you're going to roll it into a ball and then take that and kind of turn it into a strawberry by rolling, press down a little harder on one side than the other. And, and give it a point. And I have kind of a tall, skinny one, so I'll just kind of mush that down. And it should look kind of like that, okay? Um, so um, because the heart has these coronary arteries, I want to indicate that on our mannequins. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this wire tool. And I'm just gonna trace the general pattern of these coronary arteries. Um, again, just to kind of remind us that they're there. We don't have to worry about exactly where these lines go, but there's these little branches and these coronary arteries are going to bring blood to all of the muscle cells that make up the wall of the heart. So we've got those coronary arteries in there. And now we're going to start to build some blood vessels. The first three we're going to make are the ascending and descending aorta, the brachiocephalic, and the carotid. So if you look at this diagram, you can see there's this little arched blood vessel coming out. That is called the aorta. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my red spaghetti. I'm gonna angle my heart to the left. You can kind of see on my own body, it's to the left. So um, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna place this in the back of the heart and make a little loop and just let it let it kind of dangle behind like that. So this arch, I've exaggerated it quite a bit here. This is the ascending aorta, and then this part is the descending aorta. Now I'm just gonna leave this dangle, I'll probably break that off in a moment, but for now I'll leave it. Um, <clears throat> you'll notice that there's several blood vessels that come out of the heart, and so we're just gonna build those really quickly. Um, the first is what's called the brachiocephalic, and the brachiocephalic um, branches off to the arm and to the head. Brachio actually means arm and cephalic refers to the head. So I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit of clay, just a little tiny nub of it, and it's on the right side of the heart, so I'm just gonna stick that right out there. Okay, so this little nub is the brachiocephalic. That's gonna branch to the, to the head and to the arm. And then I'm gonna take two more branches. This next one is the left carotid, and you can see that on the diagram heading up towards the head. And then I'm gonna make this one, which is actually called the subclavian, and that's, we're gonna pick that one up later, but for now I'll just kinda of make that little nub to kinda of remind us that it's there, okay? So we've got these three branches, and all of these are gonna go into the chest cavity of our mannequin. So um, I'm gonna adjust this a little bit just to kind of make it a little bit more manageable in there. And I'm just gonna press it against the front of the rib cage. The heart sits, um, sits right above the diaphragm. And so I'm just gonna kind of use the, the wall that's just kind of mush it against there. Obviously your heart is not mushed up against your rib cage in real life, but we just have to do that. And then these blood vessels are gonna end up going up and through and things like that. So, um, so the only one we're gonna continue, remember that carotid that goes to the head? We're just gonna take a little red spaghetti here and imagine that it goes through the plastic, picks up here, and then heads on up to the, to the head. So that's the carotid artery. And if you feel for your pulse, um, I'll show you on my own, like right about here below your jawline, that's the carotid artery that you're feeling with that pulse. Okay, 
So clicking to the next slide here, um, here's kind of a, a larger diagram you can refer to and find all those. Next, we're gonna focus on the blood vessels of the arm. So if you look at the pattern on the presentation here, you can see that the arm, that subclavian, that little nub, continues on and it comes down and then it branches into two more. The blood vessel in line with the thumb is called the radial artery. The one in line with the ulna, um, or the, the pinky, is the ulnar artery, and those two names match the bones. Um, the upper arm is the brachial artery, and the shoulder is the axillary artery. And then finally, this one that runs essentially horizontally beneath the cla uh, clavicle is the subclavian. So subclavian beneath the clavicle, axillary, brachial in the upper arm, and then the radial and ulnar. So to make all those, I'm just gonna take my spaghetti here, and I'm essentially going to just kinda of pretend like, I'm gonna shove it under there, under the clavicle, and I'm gonna kinda of pretend like it's going through that body wall and connecting with the heart. And then I'm just gonna run it down the front of the arm. Again, the subclavian is behind here, axillary, brachial is in the upper arm, and then at this point, it branches into two branches. And I'm just gonna make a, a loop here to represent that, because I think that's the easiest way to do it. So it's gonna come down this way, and it's gonna come like that. Um, but remember that when the blood is passing through, it, it's coming down this way, and it branches down here. And then from here, it turns into capillaries, um, and then into veins. So we've got the radial artery in line with the thumb and the ulnar in line with the pinky. Okay, so then we clip, click on, and we're gonna do the leg next. So um, we have the iliac, femoral, and then the anterior and posterior tibial, and then this little renal guy. The iliac artery is in the hip region, think the ilium of the hip. The femoral is in the upper leg where the femur is. And then the anterior tibial is on the front part of the tibia, and the posterior is on the back. So to make these, I'm going to come back to my heart here. And remember that little dangle that I had here? I'm going to break that off. I'm going to just break and fake. I'm going to pretend like that's coming through the diaphragm. I'm going to pick it up right here. So this is the descending aorta heading down. It is then going to branch to each hip. So this would be the iliac. And then it's gonna come down as the femoral artery here. But then, I'm out of clay, so I'll just kind of continue it. Something interesting happens um, at this point. It actually rolls to the back side of the leg. And if I spin this around, <laughs> um, it's going to come down. Oops. It's gonna come down here roll around the back side. So I'll spin it back to the front. And it's gonna go up about halfway up the leg again. So it just kind of rolls to the back of the leg. And I'm gonna break it off here, and you can see that little gap between the fibula and the tibia. And it's gonna actually cut to the back side again here. So if I spin it around, I'm gonna pick up where it cut through, that's where it cuts through, and then complete the loop right behind the knee. So it's a lot like what happens in the arm. There's a branch at the joint, it comes down this way. The only difference is this branch comes over here and continues on before it heads down. So this is the anterior tibial and the posterior tibial. The last one is the renal. And the renal artery goes to the kidneys. And all you need to do there is take a tiny little nub, maybe a half inch to an inch long, and just kind of stick it right, right about there. Um, and then we're gonna come back later and add a kidney. So there you go. Uh, so now that we have the arteries done, we're gonna build the veins next. And the first thing I wanna point out is that veins vary, are much more variable than arteries. And you can see this in your own arms. If you just let your arms dangle, 
I don't know if you can see the pattern of veins in my left arm is different than the pattern of veins in my right. And so you just have, veins are, are close to the surface and you have a lot more variety in uh, the pattern. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build some surface veins, uh, ones that are more superficial that we can actually see in our body. And the three we're gonna make are the basilic, cephalic, and medial cubital. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna start kinda like we did with the arteries. We're just gonna kinda stick that back. I'm running out of room to make a subclavian here. And this time I'm gonna make a loop. So it's gonna run down to about midway down the forearm. And then it's gonna roll to the back side. And it's gonna curve around like that on the back. And then it's gonna curve back to the front again and complete the loop. And I'm a little short on clay, so I'll just kinda take a little bit more. So I'm just gonna connect these two here. And you can see that that completes the loop. Okay, so we just kinda have a loop that rotates to the back of the hand. And then um, I'm gonna take a little tiny strip of clay about that long, and this is gonna go diagonally downward at about the elbow. Um, so what are these blood vessels we just made? So the first blood vessel I wanna point out um, is this one right here. That is the medial cubital. And you may be able to see that in your own arm um, if you look at my arm, you can kind of see that vein angling down. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but this is what they use uh, for blood donations and IV. It's a very easily accessible vein. Um, that's the medial cubital. Um, the next one is the cephalic. That's a little awkward having a picture of me with my shirt off here, but um, you can kind of see in super buff people, that's the, the vein that kind of bulges out. Um, and that's this outer one and then this inner one is the basilic. So these are all superficial veins, and you may even be able to see this little loop-de-loop. -loop. Um, on my hand, usually I can kind of see that little loop of the vein, and I can even see kind of where it curves around to the front, and you may or may not be able to see that on your own body. So those are some superficial veins. Then we're gonna do the deep veins, and the deep veins, for the most part, follow the same pattern as the arteries. So they're all listed here, Anytime you see a bold with an asterisk, that means that the name is a little bit different. So for example, um, we've already done the subclavian and the axillaries up here. The superior vena cava is actually gonna come out of the heart right here. So I'm just gonna kinda shove that back there. I'm not gonna worry too much about where it goes, but it comes up like that. And then we break and fake to pretend like it's continuing up along the neck. So that's the superior vena cava. Um, and then um, it turns into, I'm sorry, this part right here is the jugular vein. So instead of the carotid artery, it's the jugular vein. So the superior vena cava uh, branches into and turns into the, the jugular vein. Um, the inferior vena cava is gonna come down this way in line with the descending aorta it's gonna branch into the iliac vein, it's gonna come down here to the femoral vein, and it basically just follows the exact same pattern as the artery. Um, we're gonna come around the back, we're gonna do our fancy loop-de-loop -loop thing, we're gonna bring it around just following the artery, and bring it up, and it's gonna pass through just like before, and then we're gonna pick it up where it left off and bring it back up to the knee. And so that gives us the posterior tibial right here and the anterior tibial. And so what you wanna do is just look through this PowerPoint, see if you can find all of these on the diagram. You can do the color packet, um, Schoology homework and everything else. And don't forget your renal as well, sticking out there. Um, and then you're all set, so go ahead and make sure you got it all. But at this point, your mannequin should have all the blood vessels it needs.